All right, we're going to do a couple of examples here of integrating trig products. So we're starting off with this one, 2 cos 4x cos 3x. As soon as you get something that's looking kind of like that, you should recognize it as being similar to something on your formula sheet. So if we take a look over at the formula sheet, we've got these products here uh, where we've got sine cos, cos sine, cos cos, sine sine. So we compare it to what we've got. We've got a cos cos. So if we look for a cos cos, we've got this one just here. So I'm just going to go rewrite that next to our question. So we can now turn this into something equivalent. So 2 cos something cos something becomes, we're still integrating, so it'll be cos of the a part plus the b part. So that's 4x plus 3x, which is 7x, plus cos of the a minus the b part, so 4x minus 3x. So that is simply x. OK, so if we integrate cos, we get sine. So this would go to sine of 7x, and then we need to divide through by the 7. And cos of x just goes straight to sine x plus c. All right, example 2, we are looking for sine something cos something. So over on our formula sheet again, we will look for, here we go, sine cos. So I'll just rewrite that over by our question. So for this one, we need to recognize, first of all, it's not a 2 at the front. We're 3 times bigger. So we will be integrating 3 lots of this bit here. So um, that will be sine of a plus b. So the a is 2x, b is the 5x. So that becomes 7x. And a minus b, so that's 2x take away 5x, becomes sine of um, minus 3x. Then we can integrate each of those parts. So it's 3 multiplied by 1 7th. And cos, uh, sine integrates to negative cos. So we get negative 1 7th cos x. Um, plus, well, actually, we would start with a minus cos, because sine integrates to minus cos of negative 3x, and then it gets divided by the negative 3, so that becomes a plus a third there. So we end up with minus 3 over 7 cos 7x uh, plus cos of negative 3x. Now you might want to tidy it up a little bit. It's probably not necessary, but you can recognize that because cos is symmetrical around the y-axis, cos of minus 3x is also the same as cos of 3x. So you can rewrite that as cos 3x if you needed to show that it was equal to something. All right, let's do one more. All right, so if we wanted to integrate cos x sine x, if we just take a look over this side for our formula sheet, we want cos sine so it's this one here, sine a plus b minus sine a minus b. So what we have in our question is half as big as what we started off with um, here. So we're going to do half the integral of this bit. So sine a plus b, so the a is the x and b is the, also an x, so that's sine of 2x plus, oh sorry, minus sine of a minus b, so that's x minus x, which is 0. Now, sine of 0 is equal to 0, so this is simply the integral of sine 2x. And if we integrate sine, we get negative cos. And we need to divide through by 2 because of that 2 there, so it's a negative half cos 2x. So we get negative a quarter cos 2x. Now, one thing to note, we could have used one of the other formulas on the sheet as well, which is this one down here. We could have used the double angle formula here, where sine of 2a is equal to 2 sine a cos a. So if we were doing sine a cos a, it would be half of sine 2a there. And you'll notice, look at that bit there, that integral of half sine 2a is the same as where we got to up here, half sine 2x. Either one works fine. Whatever you're comfortable with, use that.